Hey guys, I'm Sonika. In today's photography tutorial, we are going to discuss a very important and cool photography composition technique which is called leading lens. So let's talk about it in more detail and how you can use it to enhance your photography. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I am Sonika. Welcome to my channel which is all about photography, travel, vlogging, cameras. And I put out new photography tutorials every Wednesday for you guys. So if you want new photography tips and tricks from me every Wednesday, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon. And today we are going to discuss a very important photography composition technique that we can use which is called leading lines. So, what is leading lines? Leading lines are lines that direct the attention of the viewer towards the main subject. A leading line uh, paves an easy path for the viewer to follow through the various elements in the photo. Now those lines can be straight, curved, zigzag, there are absolutely no rules at all. Leading lines are all around us in the city and in nature. Your job as a photographer is to find those lines and try to arrange them so that they lead somewhere in your photo. That somewhere can be towards a person, a particular point in the photo, or infinity. They should lead somewhere. Traditionally associated with calm, peace and tranquility, uh, horizontal lines are well suited for nature and other relaxed shots. Uh, the wide nature of the shot uh, conveys openness and especially atmospheric when paired with great lighting. Vertical lines convey dignity, power, strength. So when you want your shot to be strong, direct and imposing, you can use vertical lines. When you want to provide a sense of movement, change, direction, uh, then diagonal lines can be a great option. Uh, diagonal lines are mostly followed from foreground to background, from left to right. Uh, so, it may make sense to place your subject at the start or end of the line to maximize impact. Implied lines are invisible, they don't actually exist and are caused by external factors. The human eye is one such line. Now, when you take a picture of a person not looking at the camera, your eyes are automatically drawn to the point where he or she is looking. Intersecting lines can both be a benefit and a hindrance. When you are not careful, uh, they can totally ruin your picture with no direction at all. Uh, but if you skillfully arrange the lines, you can add a sense of confusion or tension in your shot. On the whole, curved lines look more natural than straight ones. Uh, so they are most often used for nature shots so that they can highlight specific landmarks. When two lines meet, our eyes automatically focus to the point where they meet. So if your scene has two converging lines, you can place your subject where the points meet. In order to master this technique, I think we need to become a child again. Remember when we were children, we used to try to find uh, lines and shapes over whichever scene we used to lay our eyes on. You need to do just that. So before you set up your camera for any shot, take a look around, try to find the prominent lines in the scene and see how you can include them in your photograph. Uh, so clear your mind, relax your eyes and see where your eyes are naturally drawn to. Another tip is to have the main subject as the most important aspect of your image. Now you just cannot have some random lines here and there in your picture. Those leading lines should direct the viewer to the main subject. 
Now that subject can be a person or whatever is the important element in your picture that you think is important it can also be infinity meaning those lines should direct someone. Here are a few more examples of leading lines. I personally am a big fan of leading lines and I try to find them wherever I can and use them in my photography. I'm no expert in this technique uh, but I'm trying to perfect it as much as I can but nothing is perfect. Uh, just like in every art form in photography also nothing is perfect. That's what I love about it that we always try to learn, make mistakes and try to excel in this art. And if you like this video guys give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about which uh, photography composition techniques you use in your photography. Uh, share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos. Here is my previous photo composition technique uh, video. Please go check it out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.